I cannot speak English confidently. I can write English, I can read English, but when it comes to speaking with other people, I am not confident. I get nervous, I fumble, I make a lot of mistakes, I am not at all confident while talking in English. Now this is the most common problem that any person who's learning English or learning any language in general faces, that you are not confident to speak and you kind of just, you know, make mistakes. You, you have that in you that I cannot speak confidently. I cannot speak confidently. So in this video, we are going to tackle exactly that. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your coach Annie and I'm here to help you with your spoken English, your vocabulary and your communication skills. And like I mentioned earlier, we are going to tackle the problem of how to be confident while speaking in English. Also, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to watch my other videos too. You can also follow me on Instagram. The link will be there in the description below. Without further ado, let's begin. The first thing I want you all to do is have a mindset change from I am a student to I am a speaker. This is a very little change that you're going to make. Stop seeing yourself as a student who is learning English. Try to see yourself as somebody who is speaking English already, who is a person who speaks and uses the language regularly. It is a very little change, but what will happen is there will be a sense of confidence in you because when you consider yourself a student, you always make mistakes. You always feel that, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And that is why I'm still a student. I am still learning. But when you have this little mindset change, it will really help you a lot. So instead of seeing yourself as a student, see yourself as a speaker. Of course, I'm not telling you to, you know, stop studying or stop learning or improving your English. Just try to see yourself as a person who is upgrading the skills as a speaker and not as a student. Secondly, I want you all to stop translating and think in English. This is one thing which is so important. And like literally all of your fluency related problems will get solved if you start thinking in English. What I mean is whenever we are talking, we often find the sentences in our mother tongue, in our native language, and then we kind of convert it into English, like translate it in our head and then we speak. So what happens is there's so much gap between thinking in your native language then converting it into, you know, English and then speaking. So there's a lot of like a whole process and you will make mistakes. The, the grammar is not going to be accurate if you try to translate all the sentences in, you know, English. And mostly it's not like possible. The literal translation is not possible because um, if you take Hindi, for example, if you want to say a statement such as, Maine chai banaya. Okay, so your verb banaya is coming at the end and I made tea. Your made is the verb which is in the middle. So you can see that the structure of both the sentences are very different. English, the structure of English language is very different to that of, you know, Hindi, Marathi or your native language. So literal translation, like if you translate word by word, that would be literally impossible and you will make mistakes. So try to think in English. What I mean by thinking in English is try to form the sentences in your head in English rather than, you know, translating it. There are certain exercises that you can do and the most, most, um, how do I put it? The most effective uh, exercise that I will suggest you to uh, think in English is to write. Like, yes, write. If When you write, you are directly kind of your brain and your hands are, you know, in, in sync. You are writing, you're thinking and you're writing. So uh, writing is a great exercise. Just pick any topic, just write about your day, start journaling, start thinking in English. And secondly, if you are doing anything that does not require your mental focus, for example, if you are cutting an onion, you can, you know, just narrate what you are doing. If you're going outside, if you're driving, like you can see, 
you can just narrate whatever you see there's traffic there's you know potholes there's crowd i have seen the shop just try to narrate in your head whatever is happening right now so that will also help you with you know thinking in english thinking in english is one thing that will really solve all of your you know fluency related problems so make sure that you start thinking in english and please stop translating next important thing create an artificial english surrounding this is one thing that i talk about a lot i like i vouch for this to create an artificial english surrounding why are we learning english what is the purpose of learning english why do we have to learn english of course because that's not our first language of course because we were not uh, exposed to that language we did not have the surrounding of that language that is why we don't speak that language we are not fluent it, in it that's why we have to learn it right so you're going to tackle this problem by creating an artificial english surrounding whatever you do do it in english try to consume the language every day if you like to watch movies watch it in english if you like to listen to songs listen to it in english if you like to you know watch any kind of youtube videos regarding any topic such as cooking maybe fashion anything it could it should be in english try to create an artificial english surrounding around you try to read books try to talk to people um surrounding is something that is really really very important your surrounding is the one thing that will help you to grow if you have more exposure of the english language and like we don't have it naturally that is why we are learning it right so we have to make sure that we are exposed to the language and we create that artificial english surrounding so that we can become better at uh, you know using the language because the surrounding matters a lot so if you can't find a natural surrounding create one for yourself create it the next tip bear with me all other english teachers might kind of uh, disagree with me but this is something i believe in that don't focus too much on grammar you when you're focusing too much on grammar you are going to make mistake when you're thinking about every sentence is this sentence grammatically correct you are going to make mistakes and let me tell you a secret like you can learn english without grammar like you can speak english without learning the grammar you just need to know how and um, a little bit example a little bit story about your childhood when you were learning your mother tongue nobody taught you the grammar you just you know kind of uh, by the surrounding you learned to talk right you nobody told you that this is how you talk this is how you frame a sentence you just started speaking by observing right and that is the same thing that you can do with the english language as well or you know any language you just have to dedicate yourself that much which means that you need to consume so much you know content so ma- to make sure that you are uh, having that artificial surrounding so don't focus too much on grammar don't focus on every sentence if it is grammatically correct because that is one sure way of uh, I don't know about speaking fluently but that is one sure way of making mistakes when you talk. So this is the reason that we are often not confident mostly because of grammar because in our head we are always like I am making incorrect sentences. Don't focus too much on grammar. And one thing like I want to tell I want to focus on this point that if you see two people okay and uh, one person is speaking like correct english like grammatically correct english using a lot of you know rich vocabulary but they are not confident they are they are fumbling they are nervous and one person is making a little bit mistakes but they are very confident who do you think is more attractive while speaking who do you think is a good speaker of course the person who is confident because the way you speak is more important than what you speak so I would suggest to you as a beginner don't focus too much on grammar like you will learn the grammar anyways so when speaking just remove that tiny voice that says in your head that it's an incorrect sentence it's an incorrect sentence just remove that aside and just go out there and speak and confidence will come with practice next thing read out loud take a book take a newspaper and read out loud uh 
what happens is the way you read is the way you speak so if you notice that the people who read fluently with you know proper pauses in a good you know without fumbling they also speak properly and if there's a person who does not read properly that person cannot also speak properly so this is very important to you know build your confidence because you are kind of uh, having the habit of speaking in english right when you are reading you are speaking in english and when you do it regularly that confidence you built in yourself so make sure that you read out loud the way you read is basically the way you speak so if you read nicely you will speak nicely so this is just a you know conscious practice that you have to make in your life so that you speak confidently the next thing control the way you speak when you are speaking think about the actual you know things that you need to control your volume your voice your pace to speak confidently always make sure that you are out loud like you speak loudly and you speak at a slower pace don't be in a rush to complete what you have to say and always make sure that you maintain eye contact and speak loudly when you speak in your mouth when you speak slowly it automatically you know creates an impression that you are not confident but when you speak loudly you face the person and you talk a bit like in a slow pace like the speed should be slow it automatically you know calms you down and you appear to be more confident so control the way you speak and the last and the most important thing is fake it till you make it confidence is not something that can be achieved just like in a day confidence is not something that i can give it to you confidence is not something that i can teach you confidence comes from within that's it like that's the gist confidence comes from within and there are so many situations where you know you might not feel confident you might feel you know nervous and you don't know why like for example you might have talked about the same topic or talked to 100 people but there is this one point where you will get nervous and you don't know when that will happen in that case you need to learn how to be confident you need to fake it you need to appear confident and there's nothing wrong with faking confidence in fact there's no difference between a fake you know confident person and a real confident person you are just managing your appearance so, so that you are you know you communicate properly you are attractive uh, and a good speaker most people disagree that you know fake it till you make it is a weird concept it's a wrong concept and i i disagree because what is faking confidence you are just trying to appear to be confident to a point where you are not you know nervous at all you it just comes naturally and we are always appearing to be something right whenever we are talking to somebody we have a bit of facial expressions we compose ourselves so we are not our like natural selves the way you will be with you know your own self you are not like that in any given situation even if you are not you know faking it but you are making some effort and what is faking it that is making some effort consciously right so just fake it till you make it appear to be confident how can you do that body language your body language make sure that it is giving like a vibe which is confident stand straight make sure to maintain eye contact always look at the person you are speaking to talk loudly use like a soft and slow pace these are some things that will you know appear to be confident that it will make you look confident stop you know looking down or playing with your hands because it shows that you're nervous and these are some things that you can really master uh, and just you know fake till you you make it and confidence is all about uh, you know practice and it comes from within i can tell you how to appear confident how to be confident but i cannot make you confident confidence is something that comes from within that's the thing about confidence some sometimes it's there sometimes it's not there and in cases it's not there you just you know fake it like there's nothing wrong with it and yeah those were my tips to speak english confidently to appear at least to appear confident and yeah that was it for today's video i hope you learned something from this you enjoyed this and send this to a friend who needs it and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it really helps me out and 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.